so we have Kim Kardashian who is finally addressing guys everything going on with Kanye West and those tweets. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed guys, click that button for daily and consistent, I said button, for daily, for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. And let's get straight into this. Um, there's some cooking going on in the background. Um, seasonless cooking, unfortunately, but. It's season. There is no season. It's season. Okay, curry powder, okay. Um, anyway, so let's get straight into the video. So, I, this was part of, I believe, a new episode. She's finally speaking, but of course she's going to use that capacity of re reacting as an episode rather than putting out a statement on Twitter because it just is better for ratings. You always think about the money, re your reaction can be, you know, monetized, and that is what the Kardashians do, and this is what she said. It's no secret that everyone sees things in the media about my life with Kanye, but I've always been really respectful in not talking about issues that Kanye and I have. I mean, you guys clearly see them on Twitter so I'm still not going to choose not really to talk about it here. Um, Kanye has been in Wyoming and he's posting a lot of things on social media, so that is a little bit frustrating. Another thing, another reason, sorry, for the breakup and what really caused it apparently is when Kanye described them as, or I believe Chris, as a white supremacist. That in itself really triggered her and I feel like that just hit a whole new situation because he really was blasting them, throwing out allegations, calling them a white supremacist, you know, and that is, I feel like, the mother of the children. I feel like that in itself could have been a stretch from Kanye, or maybe it could have been a reality that we just don't know about. But he was going, just speaking about a lot of stuff. And you know, there's only so much the Kardashians can do as damage control. Sometimes you just can't, especially when it comes to Kanye West and his tweets, nobody could control that. Um, she then tried to liaise with him. I was having difficulties and she was saying, I can get on a plane tonight, but when I talk to him, he says, no, I'm happy to come tomorrow. I'm happy to come next week, whatever he wants. I'm still happy to come there and be supportive and chill with him and help and hang out with him. I know he needs that. So she's trying to adapt to his needs. And I feel like that in itself can be hard to do when we have somebody who, you know, isn't mentally well, when there are four children involved, when a man is obviously distant, when a man is putting out tweets and there's nothing that she can do to control that. But what she's doing is not reacting to this on Twitter. She's not putting out any statements. What I've realized is she's obviously using the show to do so. And I kind of get it. It's a reality show. Your life's on reality show. So why would you not if it's a reality show? So I can understand why she would. Maybe she could be using it for ratings. But again, it's a reality show. It's what she's been doing for the last 20 years or 20 seasons on the show. What they've all been doing. So yeah. But clearly she's trying to liaise with him, trying to speak with him. And he is shutting her out completely and does not even want to see her. So when you have children involved, I feel like it's so hard to suddenly, you know, continue a relationship with somebody who seems so fine at the beginning and now doesn't even want to speak to you. Like, who were they in the first place? Who, who was that person that you thought you knew and now suddenly you think you don't? So, and obviously she's not speaking to anybody about in family. She's keeping it to herself. A lot of people do that. They keep things to themselves when they're very stressed because when you continuously say things, it's like there's no solution. You're just repeating a problem. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this and, you know, Kim finally breaking aside some Kanye's tweets. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.